everyone. Welcome back to Innovation Theater, presented by Innovation Express. We have Evolve Technology, um, presenting on security and healthcare facilities. And our speaker today is Kevin Rabinowitz. And they're gonna show us some cool things with their software. Also, everyone that's in the back, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's giveaways on the front table. So I encourage you guys to move up, don't be shy and also ask any questions that you have at the end of the presentation. I always like to do cash runs. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Makes sense to me. Oh yeah, I got it. Gonna I'll, I'll show you a second, yeah, yeah. I'll pull up right your now. presentation, and you guys should be good to go. There you are. And awesome. This is Jordan, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Jordan. Thank you, thank you, Jordan. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing? Is that fun meter moving its way up? <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, I'm excited to be here today. My name is Kevin Rabinowitz. I work for Evolve Technology. Raise your hand if you've ever seen this product before. Out there. Uh, besides out there. <laughs> in, in, no one? All right. Who, is anyone uh, live in Cleveland or Columbus that are here? Okay. Um, so, you know, my goal is just to give you a better information on this product and how it fits into the space. I know this is a, a very difficult thing to talk about is, with, with regards to weapons detection, but I'm just here to introduce this to you, talk about some of our current customers and how this fits into, a, into the medical environment. Um, so our mission is really to make the world a safer, more enjoyable place to live, work, learn, and play. What does that mean? We want to make sure that we can have these systems places that invites people out, invites people to go out and enjoy where they live, like Detroit, downtown Detroit. If you walk into anywhere in downtown Detroit during a, a city event, you're gonna walk through one of these machines that promotes uh, no gun violence, no weapons, no weapons-free zones, where people work, so like your office buildings, or you know, if, you're, if you work at a school, uh, learn, schools, K-12, we hear about it every single day. You know, someone, something's going on at a school, there's a school shooting almost every day. A lot that we don't know about and a lot that we do hear about. And then where we play. So I asked about Cleveland and Columbus. Uh, the Cleveland Browns use this system for all of their entry, entry gates for their football team. The Columbus crew use it for their soccer. Local here, the Taft Museum of Art. If you walk into the Taft, you're gonna see it. Uh, and working with a lot of places as well uh, in the future. Like if you guys haven't been to the Brady Center, the, the, art, the music venue, they're gonna be putting these in in the, in the near future. That place is awesome, by the way. So, Quick overview, we were founded in 2013. Uh, great leadership team, we went public in July of last year, which is really cool. I've been with the company three years, I've been in this space for 10 years. Um, it's been really fun to watch a company, and excuse the pun, evolve into where we are today. Uh, we've come a really long way. Great investment board, great partnerships, and great advisory board. Um, as far as our advisors go, we've got some of the biggest names in public safety. Mark Sullivan, the former director of Secret Service, was the number one guy at Secret Service for, I think, three terms or four terms. Uh, and a lot of people that I work with that run these big hospital security groups are former Secret Service, former FBI, former ATF, Homeland Security. Uh, some, a lot of people that really get the security aspect. Um, 420 million people have been screened walking through the system. That's a lot of people. A couple of weeks ago, we screened as many people as TSA did in, in one day. We screened 1.4 million people going through this machine in one day. When I started in January of 2020, we had screened five million people total. Just in the last four months, we've screened about 170 million people going through the system. Going to places like warehouse and distribution centers, healthcare facilities, sports stadiums that you know we go when we're out having fun with our friends and family, theme parks, Six Flags theme parks. Every Six Flags has this system, and there's a large theme park in Orlando that I'm sure a lot of us have been to that also uses this system where you might have seen it at. Um, big performing arts centers, hotels, casinos, but I'm going to talk today about uh, hospitals. Um, some big names that might ring a bell, uh, the Mayo Clinic, they use this at all their locations. Uh, Mercy Health in St. Louis, SSM, Ascension Health, um, some big ones down there, New York Presbyterian, uh, and then uh, Northwestern Rush in Chicago. What are we trying to do? We're trying to keep these types of weapons out of your facility. We're trying to keep these types of weapons like guns and things that go boom and also a lot of knives as well. We just want to help your environment be more safe 
you know, uh, what, what they say of the workplace violence that goes on in the country, what percentage, if someone would raise their hand, what percentage do you think goes on in healthcare? Someone yell, yell a number out. 75. You're close, it's 70. 70% 70 of workplace violence happens in the healthcare industry. And when we, when we walk into these hospitals and I get to talk to doctors and nurses and, uh, and ER, chiefs of ERs and EDs, they say it too. We're trying to keep these types of weapons out. We have personally, I've personally been a part of uh, taking weapons like AR-15s, full uh, 45 uh, pistols, full uh, 9 millimeters, 380s, you name it, off of people in their bags walking into hospitals. And this invites people to walk through at a really nice, easy speed uh, in looking for those types of weapons. Um, you know, weapons are everywhere. They hear it about on, on the news all the time. 64% increase in gun purchases over the last year. And that's, that, these are real stats. Um, also, you know, 70% of visitors feel like risk of violence in public spaces is higher than it was a year ago. We're scared. You know, we're, I, I live in Chicago. I, I look over my shoulder everywhere I go. I'm a big guy. <clears throat> I can protect myself, but I can't protect myself versus what, what this is talking about. Um, the protection paradox that, that we see is how can we improve the experience walking into a venue or a hospital, but also improve the security? It's very difficult. When people think about metal detectors, they think about TSA. They think about going into a sporting event. And you walk up, you take everything out of your pocket, you put in a bowl and you walk through. And then it beeps because you have, you forgot to take off your earrings or your, or your watch. Uh, we wanted to help improve that. So we also know in a, in a hospital or really any setting, security staff's at a breaking point. It's a shortage of staff, um, a shortage of, of, of people, training challenges. So our solution is what we call the Evolve Express. This is a single lane system. What you see right there is a double lane system. Detects weapons, ignores harmless items. It's a touchless walkthrough experience without divesting anything out of your pockets. So for example, Vinny's down here. He's got his cell phone. He's got his, his uh, eyeglass cases. He has a watch. He has a belt. He has a lot of stuff. This, this system's on a pretty significant sensitivity. He's just going to walk through right now, and you see zero alarm. No, nothing goes off. Um, so when it does go off, Mr. Security Guard over here will walk through the system just at a, at a normal pace. And as you look on this screen right here, just at a normal pace, light turns red, beeps, puts a red box around their body of exactly where the threat is. So we have been able to identify exactly where in his body it is. It's not beeping and saying it's on your midsection. Hey, take everything out of your pockets now. That's not what you want to do. You take them over to secondary screening and say, hey, you've got something on your right side of your body. We don't, we, this is a, a, a gun-free, weapons-free environment. Please take it back to your car. And, you, and that, that's how you go through that process. So metal detectors are you're guilty, you're, you're in, you're guilty until proven innocent. When you walk through there and it goes off, you're guilty. This, you walk through there and it goes off. It's really, uh, it's, this is where it is. Please take it out of your pockets. Please, please take it back to your, your, your vehicle. Multiple people can go through at any given time. So uh, as you can see, two people walking through shoulder to shoulder, the red box, the red bounding box, pretty obvious of exactly where it is. You can, oh, sorry. Um, the single lane configuration right here, it's speed of service, right? We want to just get in quick. Let me ask a question to people. Have you, have you got some sports, fan, sports fans in here? You, you, go to a, uh, you go to a Reds game or go to a, a Bengals game. Bengals was pretty good this year and last year. Um, you sit in line for a metal detector for what, 30 minutes getting in? And it's, you kind of build that into your day. Now when you sit in line, it's, you're just bored, the experience is out the door, um, and, and you, you just want to go to the game. So with this machine, just a single lane system, 2,000 people per hour. There's no hospital in the world that has 2,000 people per hour coming in their front door. Uh, the busiest I've seen is Rochester, uh, the Mayo Rochester campus, um, and, and they don't have 2,000 people per hour. Uh, staff members, you know, one to two full-time employees can operate this system. Uh, we can, a lot of hospitals do it with one. Um, you know, we see more weapons are found. It's, it's very obvious. I've got hospitals all over the country. I've got one, you'll see a, 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 a testimonial from one in a second where they found a gun on the second person that walked in. And on the fifth person that walked in had a knife about 10 inches. So you're gonna find more weapons. The experience for the visitor is significantly better than anything else that exists. Um, reducing operating costs, we have the, op the opportunity to show insights and data analytics for how many people are walking through, how many alarms are going off. And it helps for more than just security staffing, but also helps from ER staffing and, and employee staffing. So 
this protection paradox we talked about a second ago is now solved with the use of the Evolve Express. Um, what do our customers say? So David Hall, he told me I could tell it, say what his name is. He's the security director at Southern Ohio Medical Center down in Portsmouth. He got this installed, I think, two and a half weeks ago. And you see right here, um, I was like, how many weapons have you found in your first 10 days? Diverted seven guns, located 24 knives, two cans of mace so far. And that's at Portsmouth, Ohio. Has anyone been to Portsmouth, Ohio? It's, it's not big. And it's, it, they have a lot of people that walk in and turn, they, they walk up to the machine, turn around and walk away. It doesn't matter, as long as it doesn't come in the door, that's what we care about. Um, so Josh Langelier, a good friend of mine in Chicago, he runs a, a smaller hospital called Swedish Covenant. Uh, they're part of the, uh, the, the North Shore Health. Um, but they've had it for 10 months, relatively small ER, sees about 200 people a day, finding 180 knives and firearms in nine months. Uh, it, the, the numbers are real. And then this is a really good friend of mine. Jason Grounder runs the Mercy Healthcare, the, the Mercy Healthcare in St. Louis. So I, I know there's a ton of Mercy Healthcares out there. But he operates 42 emergency departments in 500 buildings. He uses them in about eight or nine of his e ERs right now. But, you know, they had, comp they had competitions at one of his ERs in Springfield, Missouri, and they caught 28 firearms in July, just in that location. Um, the single lane setup, we're going to show you some pictures. So the one on the far left is in a vestibule. We try to, you know, it's, an, it's obvious. It, we're not hiding it. We, we want to allow people the opportunity to see it, turn around and walk away. Um, so it fits in a vestibule just fine, you know, sits in any, any type of uh, environment, really snug, looks good. You can customize the panels as well to make it more inviting to your, to your guests, to your patients, um, and, and doesn't have to say the ugly evolve on it. Excuse me? Um, in high school? Dorman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you know? What? In South Carolina? Right? That's crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, that's a high, one of the high schools that we were in. We're in a lot of, our biggest customer is actually uh, a high sc our, our school campus, or school district in Charlotte, North Carolina. They got 160 of these. So, um, but I flew, that, I flew through that pretty quick. Uh, I just want to answer any questions. If there are any, um, please let me know. Yes. Yeah. Good, good question. Yeah. So um, it it doesn't pick up cell phones. It picks up it picks up it picks up IEDs and, and explosives like that. Um, you know, if if you're putting an IED on you with no uh, no metal on it, so no shrapnel, you're going to get a big explosion on your body and it's not going to do any harm elsewhere. It'll, it'll, it might do a little bit, but nothing, I don't think it'll be like death harm. Um, but yeah, like as far as like a, a cell phone, no, it's not going to pick up a cell phone. Um, but it will, if you hide something in your shoe, like the shoe bomber, it, that, that, that would have gone off. Um, a couple of things I, I didn't talk about, and you're asking the question and some things were going through my head. What's also, anyone in this room work in the IT department of, of hospitals or any with, IT information. Um, one thing that they hate the most is when things go on their network. Um, they don't like doing the assessments and going through that entire process. This system sits direct, completely off the network. It's completely, uh, it's self-standing, self-efficient. There's an LTE modem that's inside. That's how we're able to operate it. So it doesn't have, all you need to do is plug it in. Um, another thing is it doesn't affect people with pacemakers or heart monitors, any kind of implants, doesn't affect pregnant women. This isn't millimeter wave technology like you walk through at a, on a, a metal detector. We're using RF detection, radio frequency, yeah, radio frequency detection, um, and we're looking for the shapes of barrels and slides. So if, if, I, if, if, I, if my dog was walking through there with a, with a firearm on it, it wouldn't see the dog. It would just see the movement of the metal going through the magnetic field, and that's how the system essentially works. It doesn't pick those up. It's very common. V very, yeah. Right. 
made by made out of titanium. So, right, yeah, titanium is non-ferrous, so it's mostly looking for ferrous metal, like more more steel, stainless steelish. <laughs> titanium guns, some some of them do exist uh, as much as the the frame of it does, but the barrel and the slide of it are, are typically steel, because if it was titanium, it would have blown it would blow up. Yeah. Yeah, um, most likely not. So mo most likely not. I, I say most likely because I've been, I've said no before and, and people have walked through there with a prosthetic leg and it's a big piece of steel, like an actual stainless steel, uh, but most likely not. It does go off on wheelchairs, another thing. That's, absolutely. You got anything on you that I should know about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. Thank you. No, thank you. I I had a <laughs> two two years ago. Two years ago, I when I sold the Six Flags deal, it, it's a, that was a big deal. It's, 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 every system, every part got multiple systems, and it's like one of those. As a salesperson, it's, I always look out for my customer, no matter what. If they have a question, I answer it immediately. They call me, I have a question. Six Flags always had just so many random questions. And I would get these questions on like Friday nights at 10 p.m. because that's when they're the busiest. And there's one in my, the vice president of security, his name's Jason Freeman, he, he emailed me, he goes, hey, check this out. And someone put something in there in like the, the qu comments and concerns questions and, and said, my husband went through that, that metal detector machine and he didn't alert and he really wanted to alert. I was like, why did he want, and I, I asked, <laughs> And like I wrote back, and then they they introduced me to the person. Like, why did you want to alert? He goes, Well, he's got a fake knee, and he wanted to be searched. I'm like, I think, I think, yeah, I think you have other problems. <laughs> I was like, No, it's uh, we see an alarm rate of about um, in, in a healthcare environment. Yeah, just go this way. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was like. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not. Um, we have, and we have documentation that shows all that as well. Ba basically, I know, I know my time's getting to the end. I, I just want to say one more thing um, about this technology that will make you guys think of it in a, in a different way. Um, one of our founders, I didn't really go too in-depth on our founding people, but uh, one of our founders, Mike Ellenbogen, he created really, you know when you go to the, the airport and you see the long cylindrical tubes, like when you're checking in and like TSA is operating them, they're putting oversized bags in there or whatnot. He created that. He created that technology, and basically he said, well, if I'm looking for bomb residue, uh, weapons on in, inside of luggage containers and bags going underneath airplanes, I can probably do it on people. And that's how this thing started. So the same type of thing. They don't see the bag going through the x-ray machine. They see the, the particles and, and, the, and the types of, of metal. Is water still a problem? Yeah, so... I, I don't know. Uh, we, you, you'll, you'll, you'll never see this take the, re, take the place of TSA. I will say there is a company out there. It's called Liberty Defense. They're not a competitor to us. Um, but they are, if you want to Google them, they're creating a thing like this strictly for TSA. We don't want to. We don't want to. Huge market. We, but it's a huge market and a very, uh, it's a very high liability market as well. And we just don't want to play in that anyway. Tell me about it. <laughs> I just I just walked through I just walked through the entire air, airport barefoot anyway, so it's like. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it.